<laughs> well, how do you do, buckaroos? And how the heck are you? So I got this Drew and Steve's Imperial Mutt Brown Ale uh, from Stone Brewing Company. This one it was at nine percent. Uh, it was bottled on four, five, of fifteen, so it's been around a while. But I picked it up because it was only a dollar ninety-four at my local Brown Derby International Wine Center. Regular price, I think it was six ninety-nine or seven ninety-nine. Who can remember? <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd give this a shot here. At two bucks, you can't go wrong. And I'm talking about a brown ale, so I don't, you know, a beer like this. At 9% should age well, who knows. I've had a couple bargains that I picked up from there. Some have been good, uh, some not so. It just kind of depends on what you get. Are you willing to take a chance? I'm willing to take a chance for two bucks, aren't you? Put on your big boy pants, take a chance. <laughs> Anyways, cut in action. Ah, oh, it's an interesting nose. I think it's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the last beer I had wasn't so good, but the one before that was good. So, again, you never know. But anyway, I only paid three bucks for the four pack of the other beer. So, you know, wasn't a great loss. I use it for something. Uh, a lot of big toasted malt. There's certainly some cocoa notes you're going to get. But what does the bottle say? Two very different members of the same tribe <laughs> lending the best of each other to the conceptualization of a hybrid such is the basis for introducing something new into the world. A uh, mutt, if you will. Uh, it is a scenario applied against the backdrop of Stone's Pilot Brew House that birthed this beer, a complex chocolate, yeah, yeah, chocolate colored beer crafted by an unlikely yet dynamic duo, a malt bill savant and a brewer who had never met a brown ale he, <laughs> he liked before tasting this beer. These craftsmen coming together was as inconceivable inconceivable as the conception of this beer. Damn, those folks in Stone get a bit wordy, don't they? If I have a... <laughs> if I have a complaint, those bitches get a little wordy, man. Uh, yeah, just, you know, how about knocking it down to a paragraph? How about that, folks in Stone? You get a little wordy. You start thinking a lot about yourself after a while, don't you? Anyways, uh, as the conception of this beer, but as the rise of unlikely crossbreds such as the much adored Labradoodle, it ascended to the top of the heap in our annual in-house stone spotlight brewing competition and now rest cradled in your hands as a 2015 champion. Here we are in 2016, so that's how we know this beer has been around a while. Given fullness and layers of flavor from Vienna, Victory, and chocolate wheat malts, and pleasing refined sweetness from honey and wheat, uh, uh, from honey and turbinado. Oh, turbinado sugar. My wife would be interested in that. She loves turbinado sugar. Uh, it, it's uh, a rich, uh, smooth brood with respect to traditional English methods and a heaping helping of New World Innovation, the British American Bulldog of the craft beer world. So here we go. Yeah, I don't know about all that. But Uh, so there's some big pot going on. I'm certainly getting some chocolate notes. And now that I'm taking another drink, I'm getting some, some toffee-like notes as well. Yeah, I don't know if it does any different than some other big brown, imperial browns that I've had. I mean, uh, Mother's Imperial Three Blind Mice is, is just wicked good. And I don't know if this one, of course, I mean, I'm, I'm not being fair to this one, I suppose. Because I'm not drinking it fresh. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's worth every bit of two bucks, I'll tell you that. I mean, it's certainly not any better than, than the Mother's Imperial Three Blind Mice that I've had. That thing is nothing short of gorgeous. 
and I think they were doing that three blind mice before 2015, so I think they're ahead of the curve of stone. Who likes to pride themselves on being innovators? I like most that I've had from Stone, though, I will say. Uh, I must say, I, <laughs> anyway. uh, if you're a March Short fan, you know why I went into that. But anyway, uh, wow. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's all right. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I don't know if it's making my pecker hard, but it was worth two bucks for the 22 ounces. I mean, I'm not going to shoot a load down my thighs, but hey, it was worth two bucks I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's a nice beer. Again, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not drinking a fresh one. I don't think there is a fresh one to be drank. <laughs> I've lost control of this video, clearly. Uh, but I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know that ages hurt this beer any. I mean, a beer like this shouldn't be hurt this type of beer unless it's been subjected to constant uh, temperature change or light or you know of the sort <laughs> there's nothing unpleasant about it so I'm guessing I got it pretty close to how it's to be intended uh, there's some chocolate notes with some coffee oh, not coffee but toffee notes some chocolate some toffee it's put together well it's very enjoyable it was worth every bit of two bucks. I don't know if I dropped seven for it, uh, but I would certainly drop two. <laughs> so I'm Tom Bear Whisper with Talk to you later. I'm the Tom the I am Tom the Bear Whisper. Maybe you've had too much to drink, huh? Hey. <laughs> it is 9%. I don't know. I've been enjoying myself today. Hey, I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I love buying bargains. Sometimes you got to take a chance. The beer I had before this, and I'm not going to mention the name at the moment, uh, it, it didn't age well. <laughs> it, it, but then again, it was two ninety four for a four pack. So you know, I'm not out much, and I'll, I can use it for something else. Uh, but this one, I think, is fine. I, I, in fact, I might try to run back up there and get more because it tastes. I, I like a nice imperial brown ale. So there you go. I'm trying to be a whisperer. We'll talk to you later.